welcome back to my channel. I'm Elena. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an update video on the booty and boob mask that I did. I'm using it for over a month now, so I haven't seen a noticeably big difference yet. I've used the scrub and the masks for both my boobs and my butt and I think I use those more just because the mask is kind of like a hassle to be like out of the tub and like put the mask on and kind of wait for it to do its thing. Um, I've just like noticed that I've been kind of not using it as much as the scrubs. The scrubs are just kind of easier because I'm like in the shower like I can scrub everything I need to but I've been doing each thing for like about once a week for this entire month just yet a noticeably a noticeable difference in um, removing stretch marks um, but I've noticed that the scrub has been really nice in smoothing out my butt and smoothing out my boobs so that's good but today I'm going to do a new mask since it's Monday Masks and I haven't done it in two weeks now just because I've been kind of testing out my content and seeing what you guys like. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a mask that I just is like one of my ride or dies um, I've been using for a long time and I can definitely recommend this mask. And it is the uh, Cold Purge Pore Mask by Olay. Henriskin. I think that's how you say it, but I'll show you a picture of it. But um, if you want to see how I think about this mask, which I think this mask is wonderful, but um, how this works on your skin and what like skin type it's good for, uh, please stay tuned. Um, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And turn those notifications on to stay up to date on my Monday mask videos. I'm going to be doing a new series. Like I said, I'm actually switching the name already. Um, it's going to be Storytime Wednesdays, so I'm going to be talking about all different subjects on Wednesdays on my channel. Keep a lookout for that. I really appreciate y'all watching, and um, let's get right into it. I like this mask because when I'm having a really bad skin day, I can really depend on this mask to really kind of like clear up any mess that I have on my face. The uh, zits that are kind of coming out like this hunker one on my chin, which is wonderful because I'm actually going to be going out of town next weekend for a bachelorette party. So I kind of want to look a little better than I look today. So I'm just going to apply the mask on my face and look like the smurf that I truly am. So I'll be leaving this on my face for about 15 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Thank you. Um, so this is a really good uh, skin mask clay mask actually. Skin mask? What's a skin mask? Anyways, um, this is a really nice clay mask and it's got snow lotus extract in it. Um, the one thing about this mask that I suggest when putting it on is don't get too close to the eyes just because it's so minty feeling on the skin so it like feels really fresh and feels like it's really getting into the pores which is nice. Um, also, I've been using this about, I want to say a good, I want to say I've been using this for about a good six months and I've been really liking it. Um, like I said, I use it generally when I'm having a really bad skin day and I really need an extra oomph to clear out my skin before the next weekend so I can look my best without zits when I go out to the bars and have fun with the ladies. So. Um, I really suggest this one. I have oily skin, so this is really good for since it's like a pore mask. So it really goes into my pores. And I've been noticing actually on my nose, my pores have been getting smaller, which is nice because I've always had huge pores on my nose. And they like look like literally the moon's craters. Um, and that's kind of like something I've been trying to kind of diminished just because I have such oily skin and I feel ever 
since I've had oily skin, I've always had like really huge pores around my nose and on my cheeks. And since they kind of been going smaller, the oils on my face when I wear makeup or anything like that, they have been, you know, not as much of an oil slick on my face rather than, you know, not having highlighter on and people would be like, oh, what kind of highlighter are you using? And I'm like, oh, it's just my oily skin. It's doing its natural thing. So, um, I'm going to wait until 15 minutes is up and then I'll wash my face and then I'll get right back to you. So my camera decided to shut off and I already put some products on so I'll just show you what I used. But this is from the same line as the um, one that I used for the mask. It is the Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator and I just put this on my face afterwards just to give my face some moisture that, you know, after cleaning your face you want to add some hydration. And then I, go, I went in with the, the uh, Kula um, Sun Silk Drops and it has an SPF of 30. And this is really nice just because it's kind of like an oil rather than having like a cream SPF where it gives you a white cast. This doesn't really give you a white cast which is nice. So all of my dark skin ladies, um, I really suggest this one just so it doesn't leave you with a, a really a white cast on your face um, so you don't look like a ghost. Um, I also like this setting spray. But you really want to make sure that you close your eyes for this just because it's kind of got some alcohol in it. Um, but it's also an, a UVA protectant and it uh, will melt down your makeup. But I'm just going to do it before my makeup uh, just so I can get a little bit of extra SPF on my face rather than... Um, having not extra SPF, I'd rather have extra SPF. I don't know what. Anyways. Spray that on. You want to make sure your eyes are closed for this just because I'm pretty sure it has some alcohol in it, but it always kind of stings my face when I use it. And it also says, warning, do not use in the presence of flame or spark or while smoking. Um, and it's vegan and cruelty free, so I'm pretty sure it's good. Um, I'm going to look this up to see if it's in the dirty... It's an app I use. It's called Think Dirty. And I really recommend it if you have any products that you're kind of iffy about. I mean, I already put this on my face, so hopefully it doesn't break me out. I haven't used it in a while, but I really like Kula's, uh, their, um, different SPFs that they have. Let's see, makeup, setting spray, and it has a four. It has PVP. So it just has this chemical in it called PVP and it says that if you inhale it that it could be bad for your lungs. But it's got a 4 so it's not that bad. It's like half and half uh, clean and dirty at the same time. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this app just because I actually learned about this app because of the Diva Curl incident that's going around the YouTube verse. And when I heard is really bad so if you use those two products I recommend that you don't use them just because a lot of girls I've been seeing have been losing their hair and I really don't want that to happen to you so um, with that said I really hope you enjoyed the video